Well, surprise, surprise, it is uh, eight hours and uh, 17 minutes into the day of uh, Friday, October uh, 23rd, and we're starting to vlog not in the front room uh, where I usually do it because uh, th that's where the gaming is and the meditation. Um, but I'm back here because I did the gaming and meditation. I did the gaming at 5 o'clock. Fix up my eyes a little bit here. I did the gaming at uh, 5 o'clock. But I had a problem that uh, I w had to offload some videos from the camera that I'm using now. Uh, onto uh, the onto my uh, main system, the server. But the thing is, is that that's where the uh, that's where the prayers are, and so I couldn't run both the prayers and the uh, and the and the uh, uh, the offloading of data. Uh, videos take up a large amount of data, and because they're heavy to transport. They don't like use it. Doesn't the system doesn't like because it's an older system. It doesn't like having two uh, intense uh, uh, operations going on at the same time. So you just leave it just for the video, and you leave the audio by itself. So uh, I put off the uh, meditation until just about noon. I'll go back around noon. I should go back in a little bit and actually fix up some of the stuff I need to do on the. Um, Game. I just realized that now I have to do do go back and do some more things. Uh, I didn't do two of the necessities that I I had to wait for a couple hours. It's been a couple hours now, so I should go back and check that out uh, before anything else happens. <laughs> but as it, I'm beginning this, I'm beginning the vlog here. We're just about 21 days out. I've been able to fix up problems with the editing desk. In terms of uh, the way I was putting things out, so I've resolved some of that problem. We're st so we're we're just about we're just about. I just uploaded the uh, vlog for the first. It's the twenty third today, so we're twenty two days out uh, from uh, the actual date of filming. That's approximately three weeks because uh, seven seven times three is twenty one. So we're one day outside of the uh, three week mark. So. Slow but sure, we're closing the gap. I want to get down to about two weeks, but uh, things seem to pop up. You do well for a bit, and then things fall off. Uh, but that's the, that's the nature of the thing. Things always go like that. Things uh, never go as planned, never go as intended, and you always have to make adjustments adjustments uh, for them. And this is certainly no exception here. But the thing is, I've been watching my vlogs, I've been watching how the cadence is, how the speech is, how uh, a number of things are, and I am getting better. The, the, the conversation is getting better, the conversation is getting easier, uh, it flows better, the gaps between thoughts are not uh, too, uh, too burdensome, they don't, they don't cause a bit of a problem. The way they used to. I do have some issue with uh, pronunciation sometimes, or I should say, enunciation. I tend to, I still tend to trip over words. But the more tired I am, like now I can barely keep my eyes open. So, but I do have to do that. That one thing in the front room there on the gaming, uh, and then I'm gonna go back to bed because uh, I am tired. I am having having a hard time keeping my eyes open. That's what that was the issue with the eyes. In the beginning, is that uh, when they get tired, you have to sort of, uh, I don't know, massage them to make them feel better. And I think again, it's, you, you, it's, you, it's, you, it's you massage this way to where the tear ducts are, and when the tear ducts are here, sort of pinch, but not hard, lightly, and that resolves a number of the fatigue issues. Anyways. Uh, we're going to go uh, end this uh, opening segment here. I'll see you in a couple of hours for the uh, uh, bid section. Well, 
while the editing is being maintained, uh, we are moving up ahead. We we are closing the gap. Uh, we're close to 21, uh, 21 days in terms of the time when we film and the time when we push when we publish with the, when the editing is done and published to YouTube. So yay for that. Uh, this is the middle segment I'm trying to put in more of so we have more uh, content than just simply the uh, opening and the ending. But uh, it really depend it, it really depends on the conversation that you're going to end up having. Uh, and right now the conversation is uh, pretty good. So it, it, it is a little bit more difficult to put in the third se segment, but still doable. Uh, I've been realizing, uh, and there's one correction I have to make uh, when talking about spirituality, a lot of times people use the term destiny. I wasn't using the term destiny as a uh, in the common sense of the word. And this is where it becomes very complex. You can use a word without necessarily meaning the exact definition. You can have an implication. Uh, if you listen to what I said carefully, you'll get the understanding that destiny really doesn't exist. There is no destiny. Because destiny is something you can predict, something that you can, uh, you're following on a particular path and you never deviate from that path. But that's not what happens in life. Uh, life is not predicted. And a matter of fact, it is pretty much unpredictable. There are certain things you can predict. There are certain behaviors that are we'll called repeat patterns in behavior that you can predict so that you can use the repeat pattern of the behavior to say, okay, this person is going to do this or this person is going to do that. Uh, simply because you know the pattern of behavior. You start, study a person long enough and you begin to pick up the patterns of behavior. This is, as a matter of fact, you don't even have to study husband and wife, brother and sister, or, 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 or siblings. At some point in time, they get, to, they, they get to know what each other is going to do simply because they've been around for so long that they understand without, without any having any verbal communication of what's going to ha happen next. In other words, they're in synchronization. Uh, and so that is... We call a level of predictability, but it's not the entire predictability itself. It doesn't give you the entirety. And I think as t people, particularly when they're talking about spirituality, will always often use the term destiny as if there was some unwritten path for you, uh, you know, some, something etched in stone, well, this is your destiny, and so you have to go ahead and do this. Well, not necessarily. And the thing is, again, the choices you make will have consequences. But if you don't make a choice either, if you, let's say you choose not to do something, that's going to have a consequence as well. I mean, uh, if you choose, if you know something's going bad, let's say you know something bad is going on, and you choose not to get yourself involved because you just don't want the hassle. Well, then later on, later on, it's found out that you knew it's, the person gets caught, ends up, going to jail, because it's, let's say something that's really, really bad, criminally criminally bad. Well, the thing is, is now the prosecutor's looking at you and saying, well, you knew. You could have prevented this. You're an accessory. Now you're charged. That's a negative consequence of the inaction that you had before. In other words, if you know about something, someone who had a criminal intent, and you did nothing to stop it, and you continue to know, but again, didn't do anything or didn't say anything, you could be charged as an accessory. That's a negative consequence for an, for an inaction. You didn't do anything, but because, that did, that, because you didn't do anything, this bad thing happened. Now this bad thing is happening to you because you didn't do anything. <laughs> I said, this, is, this is the co negative consequences or a consequence of not making a decision. So, Either way, whether you make a decision or not, don't make a decision, uh, or take an action or don't make an action, they have consequences on both sides, whether they could be good or bad. And the thing is, is that this is what sort of knocks out destiny, is because you have this sort of dichotomy. Uh, the des destiny really doesn't fundamentally exist, even though in spirituality it does. 
as stated by other gurus. Well, this is the end of the Friday vlog at uh, 6 hours and 38 minutes into the day of October 24th, uh, 2020, and that's a uh, Saturday, so it's, well, one week has gone by again. We're here at the weekend again. Uh, let's see if we can get a scooter ride in this weekend, <laughs> or, or more. Um, a lot of it depends on how the weather is, and right now it's been very rainy, and even when we have the breaks and the rain, it's it's kind of iffy, so you don't know what to do. Or, oh. So it's best sort of, you know, at those times simply to hit your ride when you're going to go places. So, Anyways, it's, it's coming to the end of what they call the typical cycling season. Most people are putting their bikes away, including their motorcycles. Uh, I'm not going to quite do that yet. Um, there are days in the winter when there is no snow on the ground and the road is perfectly dry, so I think I could ride then as well. It'll be a little colder then, <laughs> but uh, at the same time, uh, it will be safe enough, so... I've got enough, I've got the gloves I need. I've got uh, the boots I need. I've got you know in terms of the riding riding boots. I've got every I've got as much as I need to sort of uh, be on the road uh, even during the winter. So uh, let's see if we can do this all season, uh, making an all season type of ride. But uh, we'll see. We we'll, we we'll is it. I take things bit at a time. I don't do things exactly right away. Uh, more and more scooting is coming into the vlog. We are still, well, 21 days out. We're still, 21 uh, 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 is basically 3 times 7 is 21. So, uh, 7 days a week, uh, we're 3 weeks out. So, if we can get it down to 2 weeks, that will be good. Uh, but that's going to take a bit of an effort. So, uh, a bit of time. Uh, we're still under a year in terms of when we started vlogging, so uh, I think this is pretty good. I think I've got a good number of vlogs uh, on the channel, so that uh, there's content there for people to see. I think we've had we've had well, really, I think, but we have had good discussions on spirituality. We're good, talking more about dreams. And that's what's been happening lately. Uh, uh, I've been uh, very heavily lucid dream dreaming, so I've been staying extended hours uh, trying to sort of figure out how things are working out. The, one thing I said before, every once in a while the dreams start to change, and that's what's happened now is that, that we're in a new season of dreams where I'm dreaming about things I really haven't necessarily dreamed about before, or if they were, uh, they're in a different order or a different structure, so... I'm not necessarily too, uh, too sure what's actually going on inside them. That they are different, but the, how they're different. Uh, these things, these things, uh, including the feelings, are in many cases beyond words. And there is no, there are no words to describe it. So it provides a bit of a conundrum when you're sitting there, you're feeling something, and you want to tell someone. You know, you know, we have this discussion. Well, how do I put in, into words how I'm feeling, how I experience the dream? When in many cases there are no words to experience, words to sort of uh, to that would act that would adequately uh, describe the experience. In many cases, this is where we, where you say, well, you can describe the experience to some degree, but unless you experience it yourself, there is a loss. In understanding, and this is, uh, I think, certainly the case. I know this is the case in quantum physics and in the level of spirituality I'm at. There is also a loss of word. You have to be a practitioner to understand some of the things I understand, even though it says, "Oh, that should be pretty easy." But, but the reality is that there's an experience that cannot be described, that cannot be intellectualized, 
uh, and stands beyond the intellectual. So that's what I'm saying is that the, you know the, there is a holistic experience beyond the intellectual that most intellectuals miss, and this in many ways in many ways causes the problem that we see. Well, why do academics get things so wrong? And it's because there's an experience there that they're missing. They only have the intellect part. Uh, they don't have the holistic. They don't have necessarily the experience. But someone else may have who's always working with this stuff. So, uh, And it's not necessarily always working with this stuff. It's just... Uh, if you have a holistic understanding, and that includes your experience, and the experience including the, uh, the intellect, uh, it's significantly different than a person who has simply the intellect. And the person with, with the intellect, because they don't have the experience, will miss a significant portion of the understanding that the person who has the holistic approach does.